Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Chef Ange. On today's episode, I got a great recipe for you. This is Marry Me Chicken. So Marry Me Chicken is a great chicken dish and it gets its name from the myth that someone made their uh, partner this recipe and the person proposed to them instantly because they were such a good cook. Um, it sounds like a really complicated dish, but it's really not. It's really simple. It's just some pan seared chicken, beautiful uh, garlicky cream sauce and some sun dried tomatoes. And it comes together from start to finish in maybe 30 to 40 minutes. Check out the description box down. There's the full ingredient list and the directions. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can find out when I drop new recipe videos just like this one every week. Let's get cooking. Marry Me Chicken can be made with chicken thighs or chicken breasts. I've seen recipe for both. So we're going to make these with chicken breasts and I'm going to trim them up just a little bit and just get rid of any of that hanging skin, the fat and the gristle. We're going to season with some olive oil and some of my base seasoning, which is a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. There's a link to the video recipe in the description. We're also going to season with some smoked paprika. It's going to add like really nice smoky flavor and give a really nice red color. And now we're also going to throw some Italian seasoning in there. And then I like to loosen up the herbs by just adding a touch more oil on the outside. Now we're going to give that a nice mix until these are well coated. Uh, while that chicken is marinating in the spices and oil, we're going to trim up some garlic, some shallots that we're going to make our sauce. And we're also going to cut up some sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes are the unique ingredient in Marry Me Chicken. This is one of the ingredients that I've seen in all the recipes. So we're going to cut those up into nice strips. Now we're going to get our cast iron pan hot over a medium high heat. And I'm trying to get a nice color and nice brownness on both sides of this chicken breast. If your pan's not hot enough, turn up the heat because color is flavor. And if we're missing out on color, we're missing out on flavor. Once we've gotten some nice color on both sides of these, we're going to remove these from the pan and we're going to start to build our sauce. Remember, we're gonna finish cooking these in the sauce, so you don't need to cook them all the way through, but you do wanna get color on both sides. So if you gotta flip them a few times, that's totally okay. And once you get that nice color on all of these chicken breasts, we're gonna pull them aside. Now we're gonna to start to build our sauce. So I've lowered the pan to about a medium heat and we threw in the shallots. And now I'm gonna to start to move those around the pan, try not to let them burn, but they are gonna pick up some color and they're also gonna to start to give off some moisture, which is gonna to start to pick up the flavors on the bottom of this pan left over from that sear chicken. We're also going to throw in that minced garlic and now we're going to put a little bit white wine vinegar in there and you can see that now it's going to start to add liquids. Big splash of some white wine. Don't use cooking wine. Just use the cheapest stuff that you can get at the liquor store and in go some chicken stock. So now we got some liquids in there that are really going to pick up all those flavors. The shallots are going to release the flavor. The garlic's going to release the flavor and then we also have that brown stuff that was left over from the chicken. So now we're going to add a little color we're gonna be putting in some tomato paste and now one of my favorite products, the Better Than Bouillon. This is the roasted garlic flavor. I think it's a really, really nice one and I'm a total garlic lover. Let me know in the comments section if you love garlic so much that you can never get enough of it. Now we're gonna season our sauce with some fresh dried oregano out of my mom's garden and some crushed red pepper, whatever you and your digestive system can handle, along with a pinch of salt and some fresh ground black pepper. We're gonna give that a nice mix. And as this is mixing, liquid is evaporating from the wine, the chicken stock and the vinegar that we put in there. So the sauce is starting to thicken up. You can see it's not so loose as it was before. Now we're gonna shred in some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Now we're gonna be pretty liberal with this. This is a nice cheesy sauce that's gonna go really well with those sun-dried tomatoes that we saw before. And now we're gonna put in a splash of heavy cream or half and half. I'm using half and half here, but heavy cream is also can be used here. And now I've been playing around with some non-gluten thickeners. This is guar gum and you just need a pinch of this stuff and it works just like flour does, except it's gluten free. And I'm just playing around with other thickening agents other than flour. And we just give that a nice mix in there. Uh, you don't need a lot. And guar gum is a fiber that's gonna make this nice and thick the same way that flour does. We're going to throw in those sun-dried tomatoes, and then we're going to nestle our chicken into this nice, beautiful, silky, delicious sauce. We're going to fit those in there really nice to make sure that we're getting that sauce all the way around. And that these are going to finish cooking the oven inside that sauce. And make sure you don't forget any of those drippings that collected on the plate. That stuff is pure liquid gold. 
We're gonna spoon the sauce over the chicken, give it a nice bath, and just give it that sauce love. The sauce is gonna interact with the crust that's already on that chicken, and it's gonna produce unbelievable flavors. This is my favorite style of cooking, searing stuff and then cooking it inside a sauce. And don't be stingy. Baste, 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 and just when you think you've basted enough, baste a little bit more. So now we're gonna cover this, and this is gonna go in a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until we get that chicken just a little bit north of 165. I like my chicken at 170. Make sure you're using your meat thermometers and you're just not guessing. So we're gonna pull this out of the oven and after about 20 to 25 minutes, this chicken is cooked all the way through and that sauce is fully developed. This looks and smells amazing. While it's cooling down so we don't burn our mouths, we're gonna julienne some basil and we're gonna sprinkle that right over the top and that basil flavor pairs so nicely with that sun-dried tomatoes. And just like that, we brought this dish home and it's ready to hit the dinner table. It looks amazing and smells even better. Well, let's see how we did, because it smells really, really good in here. Uh, the cast iron keeps that food so warm, so you can chill out for a little bit and just kind of serve it right in the cast iron. And now, don't forget some of this yummy, yummy sauce. You know, I always suggest use your thermometer probes. You should have one in the kitchen because when you're cooking chicken breast, you want to hit it right just a little bit past 165. I like mine at like 170, 175 to make sure it's fully cooked, but it's definitely still on the juicy end. I think 165 flirts a little bit too much with that, with that juicy slash raw line. So I like to go with just a little bit past that. So let's cut right in, let's see how we did. Mm. This chicken looks unbelievable. So you can see the chicken's fully cooked. Let's get some of that sauce in there, some of those dried tomatoes on there. Mm. This is packed with flavor. I mean, who says chicken's boring? And if you make me this, I am married, but if you make me this, I might consider a marriage proposal. I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, this is a restaurant quality meal and it's total home cooking. You know, you just one pan, a little bit of chicken, some sun-dried tomatoes, and everything else is basically pantry ingredients that you probably should already have if you're doing a decent amount of cooking. Mm. Creamy, garlicky, a little bit of heat from that red pepper and those beautiful sun-dried tomato flavor. Mm. Wow. Well, I'm Chef Ange. This is Marry Me Chicken. Um, I hope you make this. I hope you make this for someone and they propose to you because it's so good. Uh, if you did like this video, give the like button a little love. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Get that notification bell on and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.